Hello, so today I'm feeling so, so much better. I think the main change that I made was going to sleep at my usual time, which is like 10, 10.30. Honestly, like during quarantine, I've even gone to sleep around 9.30 just because I think I definitely was lacking sleep during the time that we were actually going to school. So it's nice to catch up on that. But yeah, I've been making subtle adjustments to improve my mood, such as I mentioned going to sleep earlier and going outside more often. So I find that when I go outside in the morning and again, either midday or in the evening, even for like a 20 minute walk or something, I just end up feeling so, so much better. And just going outside instead of being confined in one space all day, I find that really helps me personally. So I try to spend as much time as I can outdoors, staying active and just doing things that make my f body feel good and also allow it to move around because I'm someone who just can't like stand still for a really long time or sit still. <laughs> so um, I try to move around as often as I can. And if I have a project that I'm working on or something, I try to break it up into one hour increments or at the most one and a half hours, sometimes two, but usually I can't really last that long and my best work isn't really done when I spend hours and hours working on it. I need to take frequent breaks just to give my brain some time to kind of recoup and everything. So today I want to address the question of what do you want to do? Do you want to do that in all the areas of my life are pretty balanced and I'm kind of devoting a lot of time to each one of them. So those four areas include friendships and relationships, physical activity, nutrition, and a time where I can work on something that makes me feel genuinely fulfilled and happy. So not like schoolwork or anything or productivity wise, just like working on like, I don't know, drawing or going outside or like skating, kayaking, you know, just stuff like that that makes you feel happy and good. When I do check in with all four areas of my life, usually I feel pretty well and I'm kind of at that high point. But there are times when, for example, I feel isolated and that's maybe because I haven't reached out to any of my friends on that day or to any other people in my life and I've kind of shut myself away in my room for the whole day. Those are the times that my wellness kind of drops a little bit just because I'm not checking in with that area of my life. Um, same thing where if I fuel my body with foods that my body doesn't react well to, so the nutrition aspect, then I won't feel good. And so basically being well to me just means that you're taking care of all the different aspects of your life and you're treating yourself as a whole human being, you know, because we have so many parts to ourselves and so many aspects that we need to constantly devote our time to, to develop. And as long as I'm doing that, I usually feel pretty well. And of course, when I'm feeling well, that means my mental health is well too. And honestly, my mental health really correlates with how much physical activity I do my nutrition, my friendships, relationships, and how often I do something that, that fulfills me. So it's all intertwined. And yeah, that's basically what being well means to me.